local long-term facilities aren't far behind. They are more than ready for the new way to keep the virus away. Then your size Andy Fox is at Lake Taylor Transitional Facility in Norfolk and how they are getting ready. A lot of parts have to come together for this to happen for everyone. This is Tom Morsini. He is in charge of Lake Taylor Transitional Care Hospital. They are preparing to get the vaccines. Well, we finally got the date, January 5th and 6th, that CVS will be coming to Lake Taylor to administer the vaccine to all of our patients and to all of our staff. These are some of the first to receive the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Lake Taylor's Tom Marcini surprised with this number, only 80% that will take the vaccine. The staff, they've been about 80%. We thought it'd be 100% because, again, these are healthcare workers. They've been living with this since March. The fact is, some are hesitant, even healthcare workers. Because they hear, you know, maybe through social media or someone else that there may be some side effects or they may even get the virus, which is not so. So the vaccine is safe, uh, it's been trialed. But just in case, Orsini says they're prepared if there is a bad reaction. They will bring EpiPens and, and things with them if there is a severe uh, aller allergic reaction to it. I'm going to get the vaccine. Lake Taylor patient Bob Welch, no doubt he is taking the vaccine on January 5th. I don't think it's going to be any problem. The only thing I've heard or read is some people get a muscle soreness. Well, that's trivial. Orsini says vaccines are good, and it's an educational process to tell people so. But right now the challenge will be to get everybody as we can to get the vaccine so that we can start, you know, seeing the, the benefits of that after they get their second dose, you know, uh, 21 days after the first dose. My advice is go ahead and get the vaccine. Protect yourself. It's not going to go away by itself. We need to trust the scientists. The doctors have said this is the best thing for us. We need to protect us. Bob Welch, he's going to be taking it in January, the vaccine, and he thinks other people ought to take it too. In Norfolk, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Well, local